Hello guys, in this video we will take a look at how to use Sencha CMD workspace with Sencha Architect apps. So first, what is workspace? Uh, workspace is usually a common folder where you have multiple apps, uh, ext apps. And it's very useful to use workspace because uh, these apps can share, uh, for example, packages and most importantly share the ext, ext folder with the whole framework. So uh, when you look up the CMD guides, uh, if you want to look it up, just uh, Google Sencha CMD workspace and the first link should be should be the guide for the workspace. So yeah, the common copies of the Sencha, Sencha framework. So Sencha framework, when you create a new app, it usually copies the whole framework to the app so Sencha CMD can build it correctly. But the whole framework, uh, can the folder, can be quite big. It has like uh, 300 or 500 uh, megabytes. So uh, in workspace, uh, you have this this framework only one time, and it's used uh, in each application. So the application doesn't need to have the their separate uh, separate uh, folders. And this this is quite a common practice with Sencha CMD and the EXT apps. But the the things in Sencha Architect it may not be so obvious how to how to use it in with Sencha Architect. So let's take a look uh, at it. First, we will need the Sencha CMD in our command line. So let me create a new folder. All right, uh, I will name it ext for oh, my workspace. Workspace. Uh, I will open my command line, and I have my command Sencha. And what I will want to do is describe in this guide. It's Sencha generate workspace. Uh, I don't have my ext, ext folder registered, so I will put uh, the path to the ext I want to use uh, into this command. It's uh, using the uh, dash sdk. Now I will use a path to my sdk. Uh, Sencha architect, when you install it, it will automatically create you the, all the frameworks or you can select which framework you want to use uh, or install, but it will create you this folder under documents, uh, architect frameworks. And here are the frameworks you can select which you want to install. So let's let's say I would like to uh, use ext65. So I will go to the ext65, one more, and to the commercial. So this is my framework. I will copy the path. So sencha-sdk. Path to the SDK, generate, generate workspace, and don't forget the path. So I want it to in this folder. So I will use dot. Okay, and when we open uh, the folder, we can see that the ext was copied in here, and we have some workspace JSON. If you look what's in there, you can see that there is. Uh, information about the framework and some information about packages. So now let's go to the Sencha Architect. So open Sencha Architect, create new project, uh, make sure that the, that you generated the correct version of the ext, so I can generate it ext65, but uh, you can have, you can have multiple, multiple ext versions in your, in your workspace. Okay, and let's just save this project uh, in my in my workspace. So just here, select folder. It will be named my project one. Save. Initializing CMD, and when you can see, when you can see, there is no information about copying the framework because it's already copied there. So it was pretty quick. Uh, the application is building. And waiting for changes, we can preview the app. Yep, it's working. And when we look into the into the workspace folder, we can see that the that there is a folder for our project and my project one. There is no ext folder in here because it's taken from the workspace folder. And one difference uh, between workspace and when we have simple app is that there the build folder will be 
uh, will be in the workspace. So uh, here I can see my build, build folder, development, uh, is our op application. If I would run the production build, and you can you can do the path for the build, you can set it up here if you don't want the, the path. So when I run production build, uh, I could see I should see for the production, and here is production build of my application. Okay, so this is the first application you know in our workspace, and let's create a new one. So let's um, add an example for example. Uh, save it again. My workspace. Uh, it will be my project too. Save it. You can see that the same is initializing, and when we look into the folder, we can see that there is another fo another folder with my project too. Again, no ext folder, uh, and when you preview it, you can see that everything works. And when we run the production build, you can see the production. Oh, just one moment. Yeah, you can see that it's all my app, the, which is the second project, name of the second project uh, is built here. Okay, this is, it's quite simple. And you can have multiple applications and the EAC folder is shared. Uh, there is definitely more to the workspaces. You can read uh, all the details and info in this uh, CMD guide. So yeah, be sure to, to check it out. Uh, there are some cool features and things which can uh, speed up your work and uh, help you build amazing apps even quicker. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.